Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to What Up, Clig? Channel we're talking about all, all types of projects, how to make it, how to maintain it, how to uh, repair it, and uh, how to clean it, so on and so forth. We also do a lot of uh, product reviews. Uh, today's product review is yes, another Milwaukee tool. Again, why do I always buy Milwaukee? It's not because it's it's not necessarily better than Dewalt and Makita and so on and Rigid, but I choose Milwaukee because they have a bigger variety of different types of tools. Um, sanders and dip, they have more sanders and cutoff tools and soldering guns and lights and all kinds of stuff. Um, just a lot more than Makita and, and Dewalt does. Overall, better tool? No. Reliability wise, power wise, everything else, they're about the same. Um, the wall tools are going to have a little bit more power because they have the the 20 volt system versus the uh, Milwaukee's 18 volt system. But you know, it's, it's not a it's not enough to where I would call it a game changer. The access to more variety of tools was a was more of a of a deal breaker. Uh, for me to, to get the Milwaukee so I end up getting the Milwaukee because of, like I said more tools so anyways today we're going to do a a, a, a review on the uh, M12 drill this is the fuel system I have had the the non-fuel uh, version now you're probably asking what's the difference between the fuel and non-fuel well the uh, fuel is brushless non-fuel is brushed the difference is more torque, more power, longer battery life, less heat coming out of here, um, so and so. It's just brushless is so much better, so much better. You don't get power fade as bad either with a with a brushless system. Uh, the brush system, as you start to use it, the hotter it gets, the slower it gets. These right here, you don't get that as much. Now, the uh, the, the usage on this one here, I've had this one for, I still have my brushed one, and I've had that for, gee with probably six years. I've had this one for about five years. Uh, again, this is this one's a lot more powerful. I As you can imagine, I use this thing a lot. This is the, probably the tool that I use the most out of all my tools. Um, oh, by the way, the part number on this is the 2403-20. M12 drill. Now, the uh, the lifespan on this thing is great uh, for battery life. I uh, haven't had any issues. The chuck, as you can see, the chuck is it's heavily worn. Still spins flawless, nice smooth. Um, when it locks into place, uh, still locks in good. You know, you get down where it's tightening you. Put some uh, some clicks on that thing and it works great never had a bit come loose never had the chuck loosen up even though as you can see it rubs the surfaces when I drill um, no issues whatsoever the the clutch on it still works great um, of course you have the uh, version you can click it to just drill or you can click it to uh, uh, using the driver part of it so that you use the clutch different speeds fast and slow um, has a project line on it so you see what you're doing uh, it, I dropped this a lot you guys probably hear me that a lot you probably think oh this guy abused the crap out of his tools I do I abuse my tools I won't lie I abuse them I don't purposely drop them but they do drop if anybody that says I never drop my tool either a doesn't lose it doesn't ever use it or they're lying or they're laying on the ground when they use it. Uh, this right here, I usually have a, a bunch of other tools on me. I have the, uh, the clip right here I use a lot. I have that in my pocket or I have it on my belt or whatever. And sometimes I actually bump it and it falls off. They don't. These clips are nice, but they don't work the greatest. They, they spread out real easy. As you can see right here, it's spread out real easy. Uh, reverse, forwards button still work trigger still works now I've had this right here smoking hot because when I drill I use a three quarter inch unit bit going into uh, eighth inch steel and I'll push it through uh, 
I get this thing hot, hot, hot. Battery's hot. This is hot. Everything's hot. I do that. I've done that quite often. Um, I would say I've done it probably a couple dozen times at least. A couple dozen times. Still works great. No problem whatsoever. Battery still works great. Uh, one thing I like about this also, and a good thought about it, was you see I, I lay it down like this. Well, it has rubber bumpers on the sides, on both sides. So when you lay it down, it rests on that rubber bumper, not on metal. So it's uh, nice. Another thing that's great about these that I haven't seen on any other brand, and it irks me on the other brands, is the grip, the rubber grip on it. How old this thing is, how much abuse it takes, it still looks great. looks hardly worn at all. It, it's not peeling off. Um, not peeling off at all. The problem, one of the big problems I have with the DeWalt's is I have those things for about a year and I already have the grip, the rubber grip falling off, peeling off, what have you. And I know some of them say, ah, that's not a big deal. Well, you know, it makes the tool feel old and used and it's, I don't like it. Um, for using this for everyday home usage and light projects, excellent, highly recommend it. Industrial usage, commercial usage, no, I don't recommend it. Um, if you're going to be using one of these as a job where you're going to be using a lot of uh, drilling, I recommend getting an M18. I don't recommend the M12. Uh, can it do it? Yeah, you're just going to chew through batteries like crazy. Um, the, it's, it's just way too much stress on this, and it's not going to do it as fast because it's going to slow down. This doesn't have the torque as the M18. Uh, this right here, what you used to use, the 9.64, that's what this thing does. does more than 9.6 volts, the old 9.6s, obviously, but that's the type of uh, job you use. It's just uh, more of a light duty, drilling, everyday drill, everyday usage around the home. Excellent. Um, this one right here, it is heavy, has metal gears and stuff like that on it, and uh, the pieces from here forward, they're all... Um, aluminum so it's going to have some weight to it that's what makes it stronger Milwaukee's tools are not like they were back in the early 2000s and during the 90s uh, these actually work great when uh, I worked at a place and they had Milwaukee tools I cringed I was like oh man those things are garbage I don't want to use Milwaukee give me my DeWalt's well after using them there and uh, finding out talking to a rep and stuff we found out that their Milwaukee tools were totally redesigned in the early 2000s so when they redesigned them got a new crew and they redesigned them they designed them for durability and to compete with the ridges the mill the DeWalt's and the Makita's their biggest um, competitor that they try to compete with is DeWalt um, but not anymore now they're kind of on their own now everybody's kind of trying to compete with Milwaukee even Craftsman is trying to come out with red tools look like Milwaukee tools the red and black so but and now that's my review for the Milwaukee drill the M12 drill I uh, hope you enjoy the reveal the review um, I hope you learned something from it. you got your answers your questions answered um, if you uh, want to see more of my reviews on the Milwaukee tools or any other tools that I post up Please uh, subscribe to my channel. You can see the projects I have as well. Uh, until then, we'll uh, talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.